Hello everybody, in today's video we'll be discussing remote procedure calls or RPCs for short. RPCs are an important part of data infrastructure inside the blockchain and it's important to understand what they are and how they work. That's what we'll be doing in this video, discussing RPCs and explaining how to use them to build applications on core chain. So first off, what are remote procedure calls? Blockchains produce huge amounts of information relating to things like asset ownership and transaction volume, much of which is useful to dApps inside the rest of the ecosystem, but being able to access and put that data to work can require a huge amount of technical know-how, RPCs are one way of solving this problem. RPCs are software that facilitate communication between a blockchain and users, companies, and applications. Rather than needing to run a full node or set up a complex program to pull data, the relevant data can be gathered by simply hitting the endpoint provided by the RPC. If it helps, you could think of an RPC as essentially the opposite of an oracle. The purpose of an oracle is to take external data, such as the results of an election or weather forecast, and move it onto a blockchain. While the purpose of an RPC is to take internal data, such as information related to transactions and blocks and move it out of the blockchain. So how do you use RPCs with CoreChain? Right now, Core supports five RPC providers, the native Core RPC, along with RPCs provided through Anchor, Infstones, Ice Cream Swap, and One RPC. Integrating with RPCs simply makes it easier to build on Core. With the Anchor RPC, for example, the technical skills required to operate on Core have dropped significantly. Core-specific RPCs make it easy for crypto wallets, command line interfaces, and dApps to set up connections to the Core blockchain. In essence, they act as a relayer, transmitting information from Core nodes to various kinds of users so that those users can do things like transact, tabulate the balance of a wallet, find out who controls a given asset, and more. Without these tools, you would need to provision a full node and maintain it to get this information. But with an RPC, you can now skip right to the fun part of building without having to worry about complex DevOps procedures. Even better, anyone building sizable projects on core can avail themselves of high-performance node clusters that contain all the information they need. You should have a better understanding of what RPCs are and how you could use them to build on core chain. If you enjoyed this video, please hit a like on it, and if you're interested in learning more about blockchain content, please subscribe. Hope you all have a good day and I'll see you all in the next video.